Thanks for watching this flash demo on how to manage a Flurry response. You can access Flurry responses by heading to your Accurix inbox via the toolbar. Flurry responses are located in the Flurries folder here on the left hand side. The Flurries folder has different inboxes that correspond to the different types of Flurries that we have available. You have a couple of different options when it comes to managing a Flurry response. You can save to record with the click of a button. This will save the Flurry response to the patient's records. In EMIS, this will get saved as a new consultation, and in System 1, this gets saved as a new journal entry. The Flurry response gets saved with the appropriate SNOMED coding. You can reply directly to the patient using free text or a template or an additional Flurry questionnaire. To search for a template or questionnaire, click on this field here. You can also allow response. This will include a link within the text message that the patient can then click on to submit additional information to the practice. You can also attach documents from your desktop, from your clinical system or from the NHS.UK advice library. You can also add a self-book link within your text message so the patient can book into a telephone or a face-to-face -face appointment. Select your appointment type and then select a slot type within your clinical system. This will populate a link within the text message that the patient can click on to book into an appointment that suits them. Self-book is fully integrated with EMS and System 1 appointment books, so the patient will see a live reflection of the appointments available within the slot type that you sent the booking link for. Once the patient confirms their appointment, they'll be automatically added into the appointment book. You can also add a private note to this request. Notes are a great way to communicate internally. For example, I can let other people at my practice know that I am working on this request. Notes are only visible to staff at your practice and won't be added into the patient's clinical records. You can also assign this request to either an individual or to a team. Individuals are located towards the top of the list and teams are located towards the bottom. If you already know who you'd like to send this to, Search them up by typing the name into the field here. You can also add an optional note. Once you click assign, this will be removed from the current inbox and will be added to the inbox of the person that you're assigning this to. Once there are no further actions, you can mark the request as done, which will archive the request and keep your inbox tidy.